I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator since 1997. I absolutely love teaching people how to use Stampin' Up! products. Today we're going to be making this little manly card, um, cute little vest card. I've been doing these uh, for several years now, just using the different papers that Stampin' Up! comes out with. So we're going to be using the Truly Tailored stamp set and the beautiful papers that are in the Occasions catalog. If you don't have that catalog and you don't have a demonstrator, um, send me a message uh, through my blog. You'll see my blog link below um, and send me your address and everything and I'll pop one in the mail to you. So um, no charge, I'll do it for free. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you learn how to make that cute little vest card. Hey stamping friends, it's Sharon Armstrong. We are going to make this cute little masculine I'm calling it a manly vest card. Um, it has a little pullout card and I'm going to show you how to make it, but I'm also going to show you what not to do. Um, for example, I made the shirt first and I thought, oh, that ought to be good enough to stamp there. So then I made the vest and let me just show you. You wanna wait until you're all done stamping because see, you can see the words. So, don't do this one, do it this way. <laughs> all right, so let's make the vest first. And I'm going to be scoring it two times at two and an eighth and six and three eighths. All right, let me move this out of the way. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is you can take your paper trimmer or you can just take a pair of scissors and cut off what you need um, to make this become a vest card, vest holder. So I'm just lining up my score line and I know that I don't wanna to go too far down, otherwise I won't be able to do any stamping. So I'm just gonna take that. And then to make it easy, you know, you can just take and flip this around. I could put it back on, or I'm just gonna show you how easy it is just to use your snips and just cut it off. I could put it back on the trimmer and do the same thing I just did on the other side. Um, so either way, snips or trimmer. Now to, to save your paper, your designer series paper, I'm simply going to take a pencil and I know I need a flap for this side or you know a cover for this side and a cover for this side. So the best way to do it is flip the paper over so that you have, I know I want the other side showing in other words, that's what I want. So I'm just gonna do this and then this. And then I'm gonna take this piece, I'm gonna butt it right up against it this is just, you know, it may seem cumbersome, but like I said, I'm trying to save paper. I'm trying not to waste paper. You know, our designer series paper, we all have such a hard time cutting it. So I'm actually gonna go over just a little bit. I'd rather have a little bit extra that I have to trim off than not enough, because then I've wasted this entire piece and that's always bad. So I'm just gonna do this and draw my lines. I know it's probably very hard for you to see on the uh, video, but, and I think I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut, because the whole purpose is to save, save the paper. I love having all of the tools handy um, in my studio whenever I'm needing something, such as my trimmer and my Simply Scored. You know, it just makes life so much easier. Okay. So we're gonna do this. 
And then I think I am gonna bring my trimmer back in to cut that in half. Just because I don't trust myself cutting straight. <laughs> so I'm just gonna line that up there. Actually, I'm gonna bring it all the way down so that I'm good and straight. This one goes here, and this one's gonna go here. The True Gentleman Designer Series paper is just, it's just so manly, I just love it. Um, every year I have made this card with the Designer Series papers that Stampin' Up! has come out with, and every one of my cards I feel looks different, um, which, is nice because it is the same pattern, but the cards all look different. So um, great for a birthday, great for uh, Father's Day in June. Um, just those man cards to me are just so hard to do sometimes. Do y'all find that problem? I think it's because we have so many flowers and you know fun things for girly cards, but these man cards, they can be tough. So. All right, so now we've got that. Give it a good crease. I did not stick my, that corner down very well. So let's see if I can, let's see how talented I am. There we go, I did it. Now, the way we're gonna seal the card is actually using the buttons. I'm gonna pick out two buttons. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just pick out these two. All right, so to put the buttons on, since I need them to close my vest, I'm going to use some tear and tape. I could have used glue dots. However, since I want this to truly close my uh, vest, I'm gonna use this tear and tape to make it work for me. There we go, have our vest. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. We still need to do the pocket, but we're gonna do that towards the end. So now to make the shirt. When you're making the shirt, the shirt is actually five and a half inches long, so that when this is all said and done, it will fit in a normal envelope. First time I ever made one of these, it didn't fit in the envelope. So I basically am lining this up at the bottom. I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna draw a line. And then I'm gonna cut about an inch on each side And then I'm gonna erase my line. I like to use white erasers. They seem to do better with our cardstock and all of that. So then I'm just gonna fold this in like this and stick it together. Again, I'm gonna use my tear and tape because I need this to be a sturdy adhesive to hold this down.
can't seem to lose that backing. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it being perfectly straight or anything because we're gonna do the bow tie and that will hide anything that we've messed up on. So again, for paper saving purposes, I did not cut my designer series paper. I'm simply going to bring in my bow punch, my bow builder punch, and I want two of these to make my bow, my bow tie. So now if I need to use this piece of paper for something else, all I have to do is just trim off this edge and I've got a lot of paper left over. Okay, so we have all of our pieces. We're gonna bring in our glue dots. And we're gonna put one right here. It takes a lot of glue dots to put this together. <laughs> Then we want to put another glue dot here and we're gonna overlap this. And then we're gonna bring in another glue dot and we have our little strip here. Folding it around. I use my snips to help guide me. I lost, oh, there it is. And we have our bow tie. You technically could leave the little tails off, but I punched them, so I'm gonna use them, right? Now, you'll notice that we have one more piece left over. That's what I used, bringing my vest back in, for the pocket, okay? So that's gonna be our pocket. Now, to have our little kerchief, I just have a piece of Daffodil Delight, or you could use Crush Curry, uh, whatever, color you want just to be a contrast. And I'm actually going to take and use my uh, triple banner punch. And let me grab my silicone mat. You could use any adhesive on this. I'm just gonna use my snail. And then I'm gonna have this like this, and then you'll need to trim off the sides. And there is our little pocket with the little kerchief coming out. All right, so now we are going to bring back in our shirt and attach our bow tie. I decided I wanted my tie to kind of be at an angle. So for this, to get this to stick down, I'm gonna use some dimensionals. And because there's a lot of, what, do you, what would you say, pressure there, I'm gonna use two.
Now, when you put this in the envelope, this is going to get smashed. So don't worry about it. It's the, the design is still there. It's still a really cute card. And it's all that matters. Okay. So to help you not make the mistake I showed you on the first vest card, we're gonna go ahead and bring this back in. We're gonna put a pencil mark right there so that we know to stamp below the mark. I am using the Truly Tailored stamp set, um, and this is gonna be a birthday card. There is some dad phrases in there, so this could be a great Father's Day card. Um, you know, it's just, like I said, these man cards are hard to make sometimes. Since I don't put my labels on my clear mount stickers, I put a label on my block and I know that this always faces me and this is the bottom of the stamp. And then we just erase. I hope that you love making this card and that you make lots of those for those special men in your life. Thanks for watching. So what did you think? Cute, huh? Easy too, once you have all the instructions. So you can follow my blog link and you can go over and um, see how to get the instructions to make this cute little card. Thanks for watching guys. Happy stamping.